basically what's going to happen compared to here in Florida where we're setting our batteries up for backup only, you're going to be using your batteries every day, cycling them probably multiple times per day. Um, and the batteries will actually be able to be programmed based on the, the hourly rates that you have with your time of use schemes. So the system will know when it's expensive for you to import uh, and even when it's more valuable for you to export and vice versa. And it's going to basically plan to retain and hold on to energy to try and minimize how much you're buying when it's expensive and also how much you're exporting when it's basically worthless. Uh, so with that programming, you know, instead of, like you said, uh, selling back electricity that has a retail value of 40 cents for six cents, you're just going to hang on to it. And then later in the day, your peak times and as your production starts to go down, you know, for example, in the evening, you're just going to use that energy that you produced earlier in the day and stored and held on to rather than having to buy it at a, a peak rate, which is probably even higher than 40 cents, right? Uh, yeah. So, it, it, you know, instead of selling for six cents and buying for, you know, what is a peak rate near you? I, I've seen peak rates um, almost at 60 yeah. kilowatt yeah. or so, cents per kilowatt hour. So if you're selling it at, at six cents, you have to sell 10 kilowatt hours to offset one that you're going to buy. Yeah. Well, just so happens the batteries are 10 kilowatt hours. So if, if you just hang on to that 10 kilowatt hours and then you use it later, you're not losing that value in the electricity that you produced. 